Hello, everyone. It's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely gorgeous 1974 Maserati Bora 4.9 that's one of only 564 ever built. And this car is one of only 275 ever built with a 4.9 liter V8 engine. You've got to check this out. To start off this uh, presentation here, this is a non-rehearsed video. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of information that I do forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with a ton of highly detailed photos. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say that we are the only classic car dealer that sells every vehicle completely serviced. We document that work with an invoice. As an example, with this particular car, the first thing that we have in this brand new binder that I create for every vehicle, I put everything in methodical order with plastic sleeves as I've done with his vehicle here today, is the invoice that documents all the work that we've done. It totals $7,093.71. You can see this invoice in the photo gallery to know exactly what we've done to this vehicle. Once we're done uh, with our service work, we bring them into our detail room. We spend countless hours starting from the bottom, working our way to the top, making them look as beautiful as we possibly can. I personally handle all the phone calls, all the emails. Um, I handle all the paperwork. I will assist with the enclosed transportation anywhere in the lower 48 U.S. states. Once the vehicle is loaded inside the enclosed carrier, I will even cover the vehicle with plastic to ensure that it arrives as clean at your doorstep as it was here today in our showroom. Uh, so please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. One thing I will make note of before I get into this description, um, I know that anybody who's been following MS Classic Cars probably realizes that we specialize in a lot of American-made classic cars, muscle cars, collector cars, and so forth. Uh, but we have had some spectacular European cars uh, over the years. Uh, we've had Mercedes-Benz, we've had Triumphs, uh, we've had uh, all sorts of cars, Jaguars. We just sold a Lamborghini Countach uh, last year uh, on Bring a Trailer. So again, it's just not the American classic and muscle cars that we specialize in. We specialize in anything that is beautiful and eye-catching that checks all the boxes. So when I was looking uh, at these Maserati Boras, understanding that these cars are extremely rare, one thing that I realized is... Um, for some reason, I don't know the reason why, it kind of feels the same way uh, when I look at a restored Porsche 356 or maybe a Porsche 911, an earlier car, that people just typically don't go full speed 
with the restorations. They don't typically do what I would consider to be concourse quality. Uh, so finding a Maserati Bora for me uh, was challenging. I spent many years keeping my eyes open for one. And then finally, this particular one came uh, to be. Uh, I fell in love with it immediately. It checked all the boxes. It is the most beautiful one that I personally have ever seen. I'm not going to go on record and say that it's concourse perfect. Uh, but once again, it is absolutely gorgeous, as you will see in all the photos. So what I'm going to do uh, now is I'm going to read some information. I will stop in between uh, the reading. I am the one who wrote all of this. Uh, sometimes it's hard to cover all the details, so I do have to reference my notes. Um, I apologize if this gets a little boring at times. The point of this presentation here uh, is to give you as much information as I can. It's not really for entertainment purposes. So here we go. This gorgeous 1974 Maserati Bora 4.9 chassis number 630 is a wonderful example of a documented and fully matching numbers European sports car. The Maserati Bora is a mid-engine two-seat coupe that was manufactured from 1971 to 1978. In common with other Maserati cars of the era, it was named after the wind. During the entire production run, as I said earlier, a total of only 564 of these cars were ever built. This is one of the lowest production vehicles that we've ever had in MS Classic Cars history. Of those, 289 were equipped with the 4.7 liter engine and 275 were equipped with the 4.9 liter engine. This example is one of the 275 built with the 4.9 liter V8 engine, which makes it highly collectible. The official Maserati Spa paperwork declares that chassis number 630 was manufactured in August of 1973. It had a light blue exterior and a blue interior, which it still has today. It was equipped with the special rims, the ZF uh, five-speed manual gearbox, uh, which it of course still has today. Uh, it was delivered through Maserati Automobiles in Los Angeles, California. That's kind of the story of how it got here. Now, before I move on, I do want to show you here, which is really great information. Uh, Porsche does this with their Certificate of Authenticities. Jaguar does it with the Jaguar Heritage Trust. Ford Products does it with the Marty Report. Some manufacturers did a really good job of keeping track of the vehicles and all the information so you knew exactly what you were purchasing. This particular vehicle here has all of its Maserati Spa paperwork, which confirms everything that we're going over here today. Again, you can see all this information in our photo gallery. It's very organized. Again, everything is fully documented. What I did um, is I took pictures, I put everything in the photo gallery uh, that reflects all of the Maserati Spa paperwork, uh, such as the uh, tag that shows the production date, uh, serial number, the serial number that's on the dash. Um, I took pictures uh, of the uh, body number that's in the left corner uh, by the headlight bucket. That is covered heavily with paint and clear coats. So you can't see the whole thing. I definitely wasn't about to start sanding off the paint and using lacquer thinner and all that kind of stuff, but I did take pictures of that. Um, I also took pictures of the engine numbers, the engine tag, uh, the transmission, the transmission tag. Uh, I took every picture that I possibly could of all the numbers to document that this is a fully uh, original matching numbers car. Uh, anyway, very important that I go over that. And again, you got to check out all that paperwork from Maserati Spa. So, from uh, the information that I've gathered, um, this vehicle's full history is unknown, but I did find at some point this vehicle went to the Netherlands, so it was exported out of the US. Um, it found its way to a classic car dealership. There wasn't a lot of information that I could get from that listing other than that the car was in great condition and that it ran great. I do know the car made its way back to the U.S. at least in 2012 because I had a picture with a California plate from 2012 um, and so forth. So in 2015, uh, we now are in California, a gentleman by the name of Vic, uh, who owned the car, commissioned a professional restoration with well-known JML Restorations located in Santa Barbara, California. They specialize in Maseratis. Uh, the restoration started in May of 2015, and it was completed in January of 2020. As the payment statement documents, 
the total cost of the restoration was $178,672.07. MS Classic Cars purchased the car in April of 2022, where it's been admired on display. 2023 uh, is the first time MS Classic Cars has ever listed this vehicle for sale right here, right now. The car currently has 11,924 miles on the odometer, which we believe is original to the car. We think this is a 11,924 mile car. And I'll go over that a little bit more in detail in a minute. Um, we don't have any documentation to support that claim but this is a very special car. So getting into the restoration receipts, I put everything in methodical order here. It took me hours to put all this together. I did it in date order, like literally every day, week, uh, year, and so forth. But most importantly, which makes it really simple, which is pictured in our photo gallery, what I just referenced earlier is all kind of spelled out here in detail of how much money was spent on this restoration. Uh, this is unbelievable because they did a ton of work. So here's uh, the information that I've gathered and what was done. So this car, um, again, we believe this had to be an original car. So what they did um, is they did a beautiful, beautiful job on the vehicle cosmetically and they did some mechanical work, but they did not do the two major components, which would be the engine and the transmission. They focused on a lot of the other stuff with the car. That's where that $178,000 was spent. Uh, so the body is absolutely beautiful. Um, the marker lights on the side were smoothed uh, during that restoration process just to make it look a little bit nicer uh, in the front. That's what the customer wanted at the time. Uh, the body is absolutely beautiful. The paint job is spectacular. It's a show quality paint job. Again, I wouldn't say the best in the world, but I would say that it's super, super nice. Definitely could win awards at a car show and so forth. All of the glass um, on the vehicle, we actually took pictures of all of the stamps on the glass. Um, all of this appears to be original and beautiful glass, which would indicate on a vehicle that has the mileage that this vehicle has. Um, again, it has all of its original wheels. Um, we wrapped the wheels with brand spanking new tires. We did our research to go with the tires that most people use, which actually um, is the Michelin uh, XWX Radial. They're 215-70VR15 tires. So those are brand spanking new. Um, it's just a spectacular car. So what I had said here in my description was, the exterior is simply stunning with its unique design featuring the wedge-shaped profile. Additional design elements include this brushed stainless steel roof pillar and A-pillars and hydraulically deployed pop-up headlights. Uh, this is a gorgeous look with this stainless top here, especially with this color, which again is the original color this car was born with. A lot of these Maserati Boras, when you do uh, homework on these cars, people do a lot of color changes. This is a car that still retains its original color, which again, I think is absolutely uh, sexy. Um, the body, again, uh, is beautiful. Um, uh, the paintwork, again, is show quality. We detailed it to a high quality shine. Uh, it appears, again, to be all the original glass. Um, everything from the stainless trim, the wiper arms, the bumpers, the door handles, all the black moldings and so forth, rear taillights, rear bumpers, emblems, everything was gone through. You can see that in the restoration receipts. Uh, again, can't say enough about how beautiful the exterior is. Now, as we make our way to the interior, um, the interior is in beautiful condition. The Bora used a dual pane glass separating its cabin from the engine compartment, as well as the carpeted aluminum engine cap, which greatly decreased the engine noise in the cabin. The upholstery was restored in its original color. Again, this is the original color this car was born with during the restoration. The dash fascia, the unique styled seats and door panels are blue. Uh, while the black leather covers the console and the firewall. Additional trim includes the black uh, flocked leather over the upper dash, black carpeting, and this really unique white ribbed headliner that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the padded steering wheel frames uh, the gauges, including a 200 mile speedometer with an 8,000 uh, RPM tachometer and an oil gauge. 
The five divot uh, odometer again reflects 11,924. Uh, a quintet of instruments to the driver's right include a, a quartz clock uh, gauges monitoring the coolant temperature, fuel level, oil temperature, and voltage. Adjustment to the seat height, steering column, and pedal box is handled via a hydraulic system. Amenities include the power windows, Blaupunk AM FM radio with power antenna. Everything in the interior is in working order with exception of the AC. I'm gonna to touch base that in a second. So let's just real quick talk about the interior a little bit more in detail. So yes, during the restoration, they replaced a lot of this interior. However, there's a lot of things that they also did not replace. When you look at a steering wheel or you look at a gear shift lever or you look at a boot or you look at certain knobs or whatever the case might be, you can tell that these were original to the car and they're not replacements. Normally a car that would have low miles would look like this car looks. And everything in this interior, everything, I literally just started this car before this video just for a minute outside. We were looking at all of the buttons and everything from the uh, hazard lights to the fasten seatbelt buttons. The horn button, uh, my service manager was showing me it actually has two horns. One is more like a city horn, one is more of a highway horn. Both of those horns are in working order. We actually repaired that in our service department when we were servicing the car. The radio works, the power antenna works, um, it's got great oil pressure, the speedometer works, RPM gauge works, all those gauges I just mentioned earlier, they're all in great working order, even the clock works. This car has power windows that work. Um, again, everything is in excellent work. Even the uh, heating system, the fan, is in working order. Um, so, touching base on the air conditioning. When this car was under restoration, the owner uh, had no intention of using the air conditioning, didn't want to go through the extra hassle of doing the AC. That is the only thing that's not working. It is original. We uh, found some of the AC components in the car, kind of a complicated system, uh, all of the hoses and everything that you can just tell they were original. If somebody down the road wants to redo that whole AC system, he or she can. Uh, I would expect that it's gonna be a, an involved process, especially finding parts and things like that. Um, but I just wanna be very clear that the car does have factory AC, but it's not in working order. That is the only thing in this car that is not in working order. Even the dome lights in this interior, if I flip this switch here, I don't know if you can see it in this uh, camera now, but the dome lights are even in working order. So again, that wraps up a lot of this uh, interior. You clearly can see in our photo gallery how beautiful it is. We take a ton of photos so people can see every square inch of a vehicle and it really is uh, quite nice. Most supercars, uh, which is what I'm gonna refer to this vehicle as, offer little foot room and little to no provision uh, for luggage, but the Bora has a full-size trunk uh, in the front of the vehicle. The trunk compartment was outfitted with new carpeting throughout. It also has a brand new battery that we added at MS Classic Cars with a battery cutoff for the vehicle when it's being stored. Uh, that's located in the corner. Uh, there's a little cover that you have some wing nuts that you take off and that battery's right there. If you ever wanted to put it on a trickle charge, it's easy and very accessible. Uh, so again, you can see all the pictures of that trunk compartment uh, in our photo gallery. Now, touching base on the engine compartment. Part of the restoration process when they had the car was they pulled the subframe out, they pulled the engine out of the vehicle, they clearly redid the subframe, which again has the chassis number stamped in it like it's supposed to. They did a beautiful job. Um, they also redid the steering, they redid the suspension, they redid the brakes, they did the re uh, hydraulic system. All of that stuff was done. They even replaced the clutch when everything was out. But based on what we have seen with this car, there's no doubt in our mind that this engine has never been rebuilt. It's the original engine, the original transmission. We believe those are the only two things in the AC that never was done because it didn't have to be done. So what we did is we actually did a compression test. We took pictures. I have seen Maserati Boras uh, online that have had engine rebuilds and our engine has the same, if not better compression uh, than those engines. So the engine is really solid. It's in great condition. It runs beautiful. It drives beautiful and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of touch base on 
Uh, again, the crate oil pressure compression test was done by us. The mid mounted engine utilizes an aluminum block, aluminum cylinder heads, um, and so forth. And again, it's equipped with its original Weber DCNF carburetors, which will were rebuilt by MS Classic Cars. Again, the power is transferred to the rear wheels through the original matching number ZF five speed manual transaxle with hydraulically operated clutch. Uh, the clutch again was replaced during the restoration that was just completed and it shifts absolutely beautiful. It also has its original spare rim back there that you will see in the tools. What we did uh, for our photo galleries, we took that spare tire out so you could actually see uh, the entire subframe. You can see that whole area, including the transmission. The one thing about the transmission that I found very unique, once again, that reeks of originality, is when you go online and you look for the VIN stamp, uh, which would be uh, from the Maserati Spa paperwork, the code, uh, it's not actually the VIN number, it's a code, that they actually stamp on the top of the transmission, it's four digits. That code I found, and then there's another tag that people take a picture of that just tells how much uh, lube to put inside the transmission. We took a picture of that tag. But on the other sides, the first one I've ever seen, there's actually a tag on the transmission that has that same number that's stamped on the transmission and in the Maserati Spa paperwork with a little yellow factory dab. I assume that that's original, that factory mark and that tag is 100% original. I've never seen it before, but once again, that's kind of what you'd expect from an original car. Uh, can't say enough about it. It's just truly an awesome deal. Uh, so once again, the undercarriage is super clean. You will clearly see the floors are in beautiful condition. They've been painted black. Again, all the stuff underneath there has been refreshed and gone through. Um, the four-wheel independent suspension incorporates double wishbones, coil springs, telescopic shock absorbers, and torsion bars at the front and the rear. Uh, again, during the rest re uh, restoration, the hydraulic system uh, was also completely gone through. So once again, that concludes this. This is an amazing car. I would dare to compare any Bora to this particular one here. You will clearly see the difference. Uh, so please do your homework on that. This is a very rare car. It's a true uh, blue chip investment based on its production numbers, the styling, the V8 engine, the manual gearbox and so forth. It is an awesome car. So that concludes the video. Um, before I go ahead and start it, I just would like to ask if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. We have thousands of people that follow us uh, that's the best way uh, for you know to keep up with MS Classic Cars and get information. We're on all the social media networks. We'd ask that you follow us there as well. I'll say it over and over that we are not a huge company, but we are doing huge things. Again, do your homework on us. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. I will tell you, as I mentioned earlier, I did start this just for a couple minutes today before this video. This car had not been started in probably two weeks or so. We turned the key today. Literally, when the key was in the on position, it started. It started instantly. Uh, it runs just a you know maybe 30 seconds to a minute, a little bit rough in the sense that, like any car, it just takes a couple seconds for it to sort out, and then it smooths out and it runs gorgeous. Again, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how beautiful it runs and sounds right now. Here we go. That's all there is to it. Fired right up, and it purrs absolutely beautiful. We appreciate you watching this video, and as always, Rock and roll.